It is 16 degrees outside. I am running a tiny bit late for work. Um, last night I got home uh, in the dark because it gets dark at six now. And um, I sat down on the sofa and I ate my lunch at dinner, ate my dinner and I snuggled with my Remus. And then I got a call from P who uh, has decided he wants to recreate our first date on Friday, tomorrow, um, which was the uh, holiday lights at Atlanta Botanical Gardens. So we are going back on Friday, which got me a little frantic because none of my coats fit me in the, um, in the chestal region anymore. I seem to have, I seem to have expanded that. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't have a coat that I can close right now, as you can see. Um, which is going to be super fun walking around in the lights um, tomorrow night. So I, I frantically got online and like overnighted, which you know it was only 20 bucks. I was really impressed. Um, some clearance coats from J. Crew to give them a try, so I can send you know whichever ones don't work back. So I'm really hoping that they get here before we leave Friday around 3:34 um, to go to Atlanta. So uh, if I don't know what I'm going to do, if not, I guess I'll have to find one tonight before I go home as a backup because um, I can't walk around you know for an hour or two in the freezing cold without a coat that can close all the way Ugh. Um, so uh, that's his, his goal is he wants to make this holiday lights thing a yearly tradition for us and you know eventually our, our family I guess if that works out and um, yeah, so I think that's awfully sweet. I think it's a darling thing to do. The trouble is, you know, we have to do it. So he had the, the holiday build up and he had family things the week of Christmas and then we were both sick the week after Christmas. Um, well, he was in pain, I was sick. And um, so we have to do it this Friday because Saturday is the last night and um, he can't do it Saturday because he's, you know, he's, he's working on that. Um, uh, working on that film set Saturday so you know um, <laughs> so it's kind of a whirlwind uh, a whirlwind of excitement and coat finding abilities I will probably I guess <coughs> excuse me so I have to hit up Target at lunch today anyway because um, I was supposed to bring a whole bunch of cleaning supplies and boxes today because I'm moving offices today from one building to another and um, I was going to bring like a one long you know, like swiffer duster thing to get behind the desks and, and stuff and boxes to move all of, my, all of my things. I have a lot of things. So I didn't do any of that because I got distracted with the coat finding mission and then my neighbor had, uh, my neighbor's having some my neighbor's having some things, and uh, I spent a lot of time thinking about that, and that was really distracting, you know, in terms of, like, you want to, when you think about something, like a thing, you want to really focus on it, and and give it your full attention, because it deserves it, so um, when you do that, everything else just kind of out of your head, all the unimportant stuff just leaves when you've got something like that in front of you, so, uh, this morning when I woke up a little late because it's freaking cold and Remus was super ugly and I was just like, oh, this is nice. I was just sitting right here. And then the alarm went off again. I was like, um, okay. So I finally got out of bed and I did this fast braid thing with my hair that I'm not sure that I like or not. And then realized that once I did that, I really couldn't put a hat on or an ear thing on because it would just pull everything out. I was like, well, that was poor planning. But that's what happens when you're distracted and um, you wake up late and it's cold and, and all you want is some oatmeal and you don't have any so now I have to go to Starbucks and spend four dollars on oatmeal instead of the cents it would cost me at home. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. I got this. It's not a big deal. Right. So, um, fingers crossed the fancy J. Crew coats arrive in time on Friday. Um, the thing works out for my neighbor in a, in a happy and positive way. And, um, I finally get my other shoe on before I get to work. Goals for today.
So that thing my neighbor was um, struggling with did not turn out positively. Um, so now there's a, a new struggle to contend with. Um, she's got a lot of family with her now and a lot of friends and um, we're gonna be okay, I guess. Um, I made beef stew to take over there with some bread and a cherry pie and um, we'll probably cook some dinner too because they've got a lot of people and I didn't expect that many people so I, I might have barely fed them for lunch. Um, so I gotta start thinking about how I'm gonna feed that many people for dinner. So I'll figure it out. Um, I'm gonna end it now because I have a headache and I'm tired and I'm sad and um, yeah. Rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> Encourage each other with sweetness and light, and I'll see you next Sunday.